All right, guys, we are back in Tropico 6 Beta once again to continue our playthrough. Our last episode was a little slow at times, but we were still trying to get some things worked out here and there, but we're slowly getting there. Our economy should be building up fairly quickly now that we have our cigar factory being constructed here, but it looks like our Teamsters may still be running around a little overloaded here and there, but I think we're gonna be okay for now. Anyway, let's go ahead and start the game back up. I don't know how it just paused. Um, let's take a look at what we need to do for this episode. I don't really go into these episodes I've found with any sort of like goal in mind. So I think in this episode, we're just gonna maybe try to hopefully sort out our economy a little bit better than last time, but that's really the only thing that I can think of to do right now. Um, in the comments, we actually had a couple people who wanted to see us go full bore into the military. So yes, a little island superpower, I think is what somebody said. That's, that could be kind of cool. We'll probably try to do that. Um, all right, so we have an available trade route here. Let's go ahead and get the boats again, unless is cigars the thing yet? Rum is available for a ton over. Oh, okay, that's with, um, actually, for the smugglers. That's not a bad idea. Are we producing rum? Yes, let's do that. We desperately need some money coming in right now, so I think that might be a good uh, little trade for us to take on. Um, we do need some sugar to the rum distillery, and our sugar plantations do have some sugar stored up and what is is this one complaining yes uh you know what i said the teamsters might be okay the teamsters are definitely not okay anymore oh you know what i was looking at this too we can take this off a of safe load and go into loose load which increases the capacity of the teamsters by 50 percent each teamster might lose up to five percent of its freight i think that probably helps us i mean at worst you're getting 45 percent more right or i don't know if the math works out on that but it seems like the downfall to that is less than the benefit by a, actually a lot so yeah we'll go ahead and grab that real quick and yeah we're gonna speed the game up a little bit here actually we should probably see what the broker has Do to any say of these offers look good to you uh, they're all strictly legitimate that little pop-up there is kind of weird but um yeah we still don't have any money we're working on the bananas to get some money from our broker and okay we get the little bug again so we can unlock all of these for zero dollars this is really weird i booted the save up again i saved it i exited the game and then today i load it up and i get a free unlock i don't really President, understand what that is but i should probably request. report that as a bug not to work but that is impossible so they also have a backup request all right the communists have come in they want us to build a teamster office Let's go ahead and take that. 5,000 or 5 standing is our reward for that. We definitely, I think at this point, need another Teamster office. I think we might want to put one up here. Just looking at like this island. Hmm, I don't know if the location really matters that much for these, but in my mind, we're going to be expanding up like over here and here at some point. So I think a Teamster office up here is probably a decent idea. Uh, I've been saying that this is probably a decent little area for like a, a community up here anyway so we'll just plop that down there we do have some money we got some foreign aid from the axis powers uh, our freighter has just delivered three people to the island as well so yeah i think we're gonna be doing pretty good here for ourselves shortly our cigar factory is i think almost done like just bare like one of the construction guys has to just come over here and like paint a single doorknob and it'll be done. Um, hopefully that will be quickly. The last episode, we actually deleted a few shacks, I think too. And we actually deleted a bunkhouse. So I'm thinking we're gonna want, a, want to put another bunkhouse down here or maybe an apartment complex. Let's, let's buy this and get an apartment complex down here. And yeah, I think, yeah, we'll do it this way because then we can actually fit like four of them in this block that's pretty good block for us and which way should they go probably like that that is all good were we we had unlocked a couple blueprints i do remember from last time the cannery and is there anything else that we unlocked but we couldn't get oh, you can get a chocolate factory that's cool and our politics we can go ahead and let's go ahead and well, i guess we can't really do anything yet uh, oh yeah, the embassy is now up. Let's invite our buddies from the Axis Powers over here. 
and we'll go ahead and praise them. And we could ask for an alliance from them already because we have a relation of 82, but you know what? Let's hold on. Let's see if they will offer us an alliance. That would be kind of interesting. It's a great day for our comrades. We even had cake to celebrate. <laughs> All right, our Teamster office number two is up. Let's take the five grand that should, I think that's actually gonna reimburse us for building that all together. Yeah, we're actually gaining money off of that ordeal. That is good for us. Um, what else should we be building at this point? You know what? I think we might wanna get another banana farm just because this, this is taking quite a while. So why not get another banana plantation down here? Uh, let's put that right there. That's a pretty decent spot for that, sure. I'm also thinking that maybe another ranch is in order down here. We can potentially put one right here. Another cattle ranch because we can get the upgrade that will increase our plantations in the surrounding area by 10% once again. That's another really good thing. Do you not have an underling to throw oddly shaped objects at? Stay still, Wolfgang! Do not move! <laughs> you guys are telling me in the comments about how this guy is actually pretty funny. So yes, I'm, I'm seeing that now. Finish loot, have a pirate cove. Okay, we need four loots. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. And our raids. Um, uh, This is almost gonna be done at some point here. We're gonna have to loot a couple things. Um, Let's actually get bananas, bananas, and then, uh, I don't know, cotton, meat and oil or, this, uh, we only need four of these, so that's fine. I don't know. It's probably not that important to get other items just yet for our island. This construction is still not done. Just saw a guy walk into there. Is this like bugged out or something or, or what's the deal here? I'm, I'm not going to want to quick build this. Okay, there is a guy here now. This should be done, right? Hmm. I'm hoping this isn't like bugged or anything. That could be really bad. But I do want to get this block completed here. That's good. All right. So let's, I guess, just wait this one out a little bit. Hopefully this gets built completely soon. And then I guess, did we, we had a mine set up. Yes. So now I think would be a decent time. We do have a bunch of money coming in now. That's good. I'm thinking a power plant might be in order. Now, it does emit pollution, so I'm thinking we may want to put it down over, like, on the edge of the island past all of the military area. That could be a decent idea. And we're gonna just be able to afford this. Of course, we're going to need the substations to transport the power down around the island. So that'll be built at some point. Once we get our power set up, we can get a cannery f and produce all of that even Good more. So, whoa. These tremors surely do not herald a big quake, unless you say it is okay. So it looks like we have an earthquake. All right. So rock steady strength in all the buildings. I believe this costs some money. Give me shelter. Build safe zones inside of buildings or shake, rattle, and roll. Deploy seismologists to take ineffectual readings. All right. I'm thinking we're going to want to... You know what? Let's just let's just do this for now. It's not like we have too many people on our islands. Hopefully nothing crumbles, but we'll see, I guess. This is bugging me now. This isn't completed and there's two people here. Let's You know what? I'm going to try to quick build it or should I cancel the construction outright? Yeah, this is taking forever. I'm thinking let's let's cancel this and then we'll just place it down again. Like I don't really know what else to do. I could have quick built it, but that's like a waste of $6,000. We'll just tr see if it'll complete it again. I'm not sure, maybe we're like bugged out, like for real here, I'm not really sure. No, because we got our Teamster office number two set up, so, huh. Uh, also, while we're here, let's go ahead and set this to loose load limits. The earthquake is really going, and our raid was completed. How do we build the Stonehenge. Okay, it's $10,000, makes trees grow around the monument. So, hmm, oh, this is kind of cool. I'm assuming if it increases tree growth, we should put it near our logging camps, right? So let's put this up here somewhere. Like, yeah, let's put this over here. That's kind of cool. And it's not currently operational. It's parachuted in, and that's pretty cool. Okay, so... 
That's interesting. I'm not really sure what this is going to do past grow some trees for us. Hopefully when we get tourism kicked up on the island, it'll help as well with that. And this is a cool little area to just like take a road down. So let's do that. And then I want to turn it around like that. Very cool. That actually worked out fairly well. All right, cool. All right, hopefully the earthquake doesn't knock out our Stonehenge. That would be embarrassing. And yeah, anyway, would the broker, we're still waiting Exhaust. on him. He's, I think we should just ignore him for a while. Politics, we have very little relation with the allies right now. And we have, we can send a delegate over and see what the Axie powers, the Axis powers are gonna want Some us to do. That while there remain nations unconquered, the fatherland is incomplete. All right, we're already doing that. So we can double up on the loot. That is interesting. They apparently, actually I guess that kind of makes sense. I think the uh, the Axis powers were into stealing art. I had the nightmare again, Presidente. No, not the penguins. The destruction of Tropico by falling bombs. All right, so the militarists want us to build a Teamster office now. I feel like that's too many Teamster offices, you know? I mean, I guess we'll accept it because we can pay for it, but like, I feel like it's just too much, but whatever. I don't know if the game is smart enough to not give us tasks like that if we already have enough Teamster offices. So let's put another one down here for now. Um, I'm thinking also maybe want to get another bunkhouse or two down here. And I, I meant to hold shift down, but I didn't. There we go. So that is all set up. Uh, let's set this up to high priority. This was completed, so yeah, I don't know what was going on with the cigar factory. I'm really hoping that we can get that completed soon here. Our money is rolling in fairly nicely here though, which is a really good sign. If we're going to be wanting to get into the military side of things, we should probably look at um, starting to get some of these buildings here. Engages enemy squads during military conflicts and has the chance to discover hidden roles of passerbys. Interesting. Uh, okay, that's pretty cheap to get too. Let's go ahead and get one of those and we'll just start to become a military state, I guess. I wonder if your islands can get invaded. It seems like they might be able to, so that is fairly cool. Let's put one of these over here, I guess. I think, didn't it say it decreases liberty though? Decreases liberty, whatever, it's fine. We can balance it out with a newspaper. Actually, that's a good way to use the newspaper. So let's get a newspaper. And did we already get one of these? No. So we'll put one of these in, I guess, right here. And then that'll hopefully spread some liberty around this area. That should be kind of cool. The earthquake has stopped. It looks like we didn't really have any damage or anything, which is good. Axis Powers has sent disaster relief, which is awesome. And yeah, we are we're doing really well for ourselves in the economy area, which is cool. And I don't really know what else happened. I think the Teamster bottleneck was really a big deal for us beforehand. After we got our Teamsters sorted out, we uh, seem to be making a lot of money, which is really good for us. All right, did we ever set up a fire station? I don't think so. I think we should do that though. And I guess we'll put it like, uh, we'll put it down here because I feel like, yeah, we'll put it like right here or you know what? Let's do it right here. I feel like the factory areas are gonna need more fire protection than anything else. The citizens are demanding elections, Presidente. It seems that they want the choice in how they are ruled. So selfish. All right, our first election is upcoming here. We have a 95% uh, support rate, so I'm not gonna necessarily want to give a speech, so let's allow them to vote, but I am too tired to talk to them, which is actually kind of true. I am a little tired right now. Anyway, uh, we keep getting these trade routes open. Maybe we should get another one open up here, yeah. Okay, so. These keep completing, and we got a lot of money for that rum last time. Let's do that again. Actually, that was probably one of the reasons why we kept getting some good uh, money rolling in there. Cigars, we can import, or boats. Let's do boats to the Axis Powers, and that's going to be 20% above. We are producing boats. That's going to be great for us. 
And speaking of boats, let's go over to our shipyard. We can actually buy a heavy duty crane, increases the efficiency of 10% and increases the job quality by 10. That's awesome. $10,000 is a little steep, but we Remember are kind of rolling in money right now. The man who built his house on a foundation of sand, Presidente. Let's do this. Build a customs office. I'm okay with that. Uh, that is something we're going to need eventually anyway, which I, honestly, where is that? Over here. Okay. Increases export prices. Yes, let's do that right now. I kind of like keeping all of the government buildings kind of put together in one spot. So we'll do that over here. Let's make that a high priority. And is this still OK? We're still waiting on this to show up. I'm wondering if now is a good time to get a second construction office or can we more jobs? We already did this, right? Yeah. So now may be a pretty decent time to get some construction offices. Another day, another deal completed. Very nice. If I do say so myself. All right. Our bananas are finally done. We got $2,000. So now we can actually buy something from the broker, which is really cool. This is actually pretty good. Think? Plus seven in the military standings. Let's buy that. Only 500 bucks. Um, what else? Let's go ahead and also unlock the labor policy, which is in our constitution. I believe we can go in and do that right now and just like amend our constitution for that. But I think that's about all we want to do. We could get into labor policy. It doesn't actually. OK, we can't change that just yet because we're going to have to wait another year for us to be able to amend our constitution, which is fine. And what else can we do? We can praise the Axis powers once again. Let's do that. And then we have our trade route available. Let's export some tobacco 20% above to the Axis powers. That's all good. And yeah, we're, we're rolling now. I mean, this game is a little bit slow to start up at times, especially when you first start your island. But once you get it going, it'll get going fairly quickly and then the management just takes over. I'm thinking we're going to want to get another construction office here. So let's do that. Let's put it up here on this weird like corner over here. And maybe we should start building some more stuff up here. I'm thinking potentially we should get another tobacco farm as well. I really want to keep the production of cigars up when we finally get that all set up. And this whole area is great for cigar production or tobacco production. So this just seems like the way to go. So, all right, let's put this in back here. Actually, a ranch here for cattle would be phenomenal. Do we can we do that? Yes. OK, so hmm. Actually, let's cancel this. I think we can set this up a little bit better. This one I kind of want to demolish. We'll put a ranch in here. This should work out pretty nicely for us. All right. The ranch for the cattle will go here. Yes. Um, the plantation for the tobacco will go back here. Sure. And then we'll build some more bunkhouses back here as well. Actually, this is going to be a high priority for us. Actually, you know what? Let's just OK, let's quick build this. We got a boatload, literally a boatload of money in here. Our raid is complete. We got 2000 bananas, hides and then iron. That's good. And the task is done. You ask how much you are to be paid. A questioning intellect is to be respected, President. <laughs> All right. Our raid was completed. Let's you know what? Get a random blueprint. Why not? We don't really need raid points right now. We have five thousand dollars. We have more than that. We'll be fine for the money. Let's get the blueprint and the substation. Cool. That actually worked out very well for us. Awesome. All right. So we're going to need to get a road connected up to here. Apparently we can't. That was weird. Apparently we could. Um, all right. Let's get this out to here and then something like this and that little block over here. We may delete that. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll work something else up here at some time. Everyone has friends, right, Prez? And it's right to help friends, right? right? The broker wants us to produce a thousand coal. Let's accept that we are already producing coal, which is good and is not going to require us to build anything else. Let's get a couple bunkhouses set up up here as well. I always forget to hold shift when I'm trying to do this. 
And we'll just alternate what they look like here and there so it looks a little bit better up on that road. That place is going to be bumping, I think. This little community up here is pretty cool. I'm thinking potentially we should get another grocery store up there. Although I guess people could just drive down here. It's not that far. Uh, I don't really know if there's like a limit. I know like in city skylines, you kind of want to keep communities as communities. You know, you want all of the, the commercial close to the community so people don't have to travel that far. But in this game, I'm not really sure how far is too far for somebody to go, you know? So, all right. Um, the cigar factory is actually up now. That's good. I don't know what happened before, but we are all good. I'm sure the good citizens of Tropico intend to vote for you, Presidente. I myself intend to vote for you many, many times. All right, so we can rig our election. We don't need to. Our support is through the roof. This is awesome. No, allow the citizens to vote freely, and we should be successful unless anything really weird happens to our election there. Let us... What do we just get? Presidente, your aid is appreciated. Our Teamster office number three is now up. We can get plus five standing or five thousand dollars. I'm thinking plus five standing on this one. The power plant is up now. I thought the road was going to connect to that, but apparently it did not, which means I need to actually redo this road altogether, which I guess is fine. Um, let's send this out to there. I want the road to come down like that and then turn maybe or just do something like this and then that. That works for me. And I'm not really sure what else to do over here just yet. I know we were going to do some of the military buildings, but I'm not too concerned about that just yet. The electronic or the electric substations need to go in. And it doesn't look like they need to be connected to a road. So I'm thinking we'll put one here. The Presidente announces a new snitch for cash. The election is a landslide, Presidente. The metaphorical kind, not the kind that accidentally reduces the size of the workforce. All right, so we have 212 loyal Tropicans voted for me. Two people voted for my rival. It was probably my rival himself and his wife or something. I don't know. So now that we've been voted back in, we can change our constitution. And the only thing that we have open, unless we can get to the broker yeah, screen. Okay, let's go ahead and get this as well since we're here. So now we can go in and we can choose what we want to do with our religion and with our labor policy. So in the religious area, I'm not necessarily sure what to do. Employees of religious buildings arrest criminals, decrease global liberty by five and overall tourism rating by five, increase religious faction standing by 20. Atheist state increases the efficiency of education and research buildings by 25%. Disables religious buildings. Citizens are less likely to orient their political views toward religious factions. Not sure what we want to do here. Um, in terms of labor policy, we can tell our citizens that they are required to start working at the age of 12 and cannot retire. Decreases job happiness of all citizens by five and the average life expectancy goes down by five years. Decreases immigration rate by 10%. Don't necessarily want to do that one. This is the default or early retirement lowers the retirement age by five, increases job happiness by five. I think for now we're going to keep this one as default. And as far as religion goes, I'm thinking we're going to want to just keep that as default. I don't really want to tip the boat too much in one direction or another for that just yet. If you guys want to see that change the next time we can do that, which I believe is in 10 years, uh, let me know in the comments. We can always go back and revert some of those changes and kind of go in a different direction with things. All right, so now that that is all taken care of, let's go back to our cigar factory. And I think I want to upgrade this. We have, I think, three tobacco farms. We can increase the efficiency by 20% for $6,000. That's not a bad thing. Only three people can work here now. They have to have a high school education and we should be really rolling in the cigars shortly here. I'm sorry for the terrible pun, it had to be done. We'll wind this one down here for now. We've done a lot of construction. Our economy seems to be online now, it's all good. We're, we seem to be rolling in the money, and it should be a pretty interesting journey from here on out. So we got a lot done in terms of building stuff here today. I think we're going to end this one here. If you like this one, give me a thumbs up. If you disliked it, thumbs down, of course. 
in the comments. Let me know anything that you want to see in the next episode. Uh, should we be doing something specific? What should we be doing? I think we're going to continue to build some of our infrastructure up in terms of the economy, our production facilities, and all of that. Apparently, we need a new Fisherman's Wharf. I think the, the earthquake claimed that one, but we'll do that in the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.